All right, um, so for today, uh, what we ended up doing is we kind of are jumping into our next new thing. Um, and really quickly, I'm going to show you this. Um, so this is if you were absent on Monday um, the 9th or Tuesday the 10th. But this is a little bit different um, in the sense that we are going to be dealing with class one, class two. Um, there, was a, there will be a video um, about that as well. Um, we're doing the whole thing about bringing um, Mrs. Othout's class in with our class and we're doing class one, class two. So um, there is something very specific I do want you to make sure that you get done today. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you right now. Um, and then I'm gonna also give you some other little information that you'll need for when you get back, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna have you do is you are going to go to Google. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for you so you can see. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Padlet for me. Because what's going to happen for us is we are going to um, basically take everything that we have learned so far um, and kind of move into showing how you can um, do that based through research that we're going to be doing. So we're starting some research. And Padlet is going to be a place where you can store all of your research or all of the websites that you're getting um, for specific topics that you may have. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go through this process. I want you to also go through this process so that way this part is done. And then I'll give you some more background information um, as to what you'll need when you get back to school. Okay. All right. So once you type in Padlet in Google, you're going to click on this one. It says, Padlet, you are beautiful. And then you're going to come into this. Now, yours may look different than mine. Um, you may be on a screen where you're not logged in because I've already done this. I am logged in. So if you're on a screen that is something that's like you're not logged in, there's going to be a login like on the top left. So make sure you hit that login portion. Um, you'll log in through Google and um, you'll go through all those steps, okay? Um, once you do that, you'll be on, this is what's called the dashboard for um, Padlet. So it should say padlet.com dashboard. Um, that's what I'll say up here at the top in the address bar. You probably will not have any of these because you probably don't have any Padlets unless you had a Padlet from a previous class or a previous grade, okay? All right, so then once you're to this screen, um, and again, if you need to log in through Google, all that kind of good stuff, but then you should be on that um, dashboard. So if you need to pause that and kind of get to that portion, you can do that. Otherwise, this is what I want you to do. Okay, so you're going to come up here and it's going to say make a Padlet. So you're going to click on that. The one that I want you to choose is this one right here. It says shelf. It's this light bluish color. So you're going to choose on that one. Um, something I did forget to mention. Sorry, I'm going to pause. Um, there was one question that ended up happening before you even got to this dashboard. It, you had to choose which version of Padlet you wanted. So if you're stuck at that point, you're like, what are we doing? You want to click the neon version. Um, that's the free one. It's the pink one. Okay, so make sure you get, do that. Then you should get to the dashboard. Sorry, just remember that to kind of get you there. Okay, so make sure you choose the free one. It's the neon one, um, and it's pink. Okay, so anyways, so then once you're in there, you're going to hit make a Padlet, and then you're going to click on the shelf one right here. It's this light blue one. You're going to click on that, and then it's going to start your Padlet for you. Um, this part over here is where you're going to modify. It says modify your tablet uh, or Padlet, sorry. Um, and so you're going to come in here and you're going to change the title. It's the first thing I want you to change. And what I would like for you to do is I want you to type your last name. Make sure you type your last name. Um, and then after that, I want you to write research, oh, goodness gracious, research topics. Okay, so put your last name. I'll go ahead and put my last name just so you can see it. Dingman Research Topics. That's what I want your title to be. Okay, so make sure it's your last name dash research topics. That's just what this whole Padlet is going to be called. Okay. All right. Next thing I want you to do, just so you have that done, is I want you to come down here to where it says copy to clipboard. I want you to copy that and it'll show up that you copied it here. And then you're going to open up your email. Okay. Once you go into your email, you are going to make a new email and you are going to send this to Mrs. Othout. So make sure you send it to Mrs. Othout for me. So that's going to be who it's to. So you've drafted a new email. It's to Mrs. Othout. In the subject line, I want you to write Padlet, P-A-D-L-E-T. In the subject line, you're going to type Padlet. And then in the actual um, space for your message, you're going to put your cursor there and then hit Control V. What that should do is it should paste um, your link I'm not going to open my email because there's lots of things in there. So let me, uh, let's do this. 
no, I'm just going to keep talking. Okay, so then you're going to hit Control-V into that um, space there, and then you're going to um, make sure it's blue because that link should be blue because when you send it to Mrs. Othat, she should be able to click on it, and it will take you or it will take her to your Padlet. Okay? So again, to go over that really quickly, you should have copied your link to your clipboard. Pops up right here. You're going to open up your email. You're going to hit a new email. You're going to send it to Mrs. Othout. In the subject line, you're going to write Padlet, P-A-D-L-E-T. And in the actual message box, you're going to put your cursor there and hit Control V. That's going to paste um, the link that you copied over here. And it should be blue. And then if it's blue, you're going to send. Just hit send. Okay. All right. After you've hit sent on that email and it's to Mrs. Othout, the next thing I'm going to have you guys do um, is pause there for now. Because I want to show you something before I let you kind of just play around with um, that. Okay. So I'm going to pause there for a second. Um, let's do this. No, actually, up here it's going to say next. Some of you may hit hey, say save. Either one, this top right link, you're going to click on that. And then you're going to hit start posting if that comes up for you. If you're already here, this you're already here. Okay. Um, this section one, I want you to rename this section one. And what you're going to rename this section one is explore, sorry, explore, and then bring is what I want you to save that as. That's going to be your first section. Okay. Um, to give you more of an explanation as to what this Padlet is going to um, be for, is it's really for you to store all of the different links and research pages that you get um, for your uh, research that you end up doing, okay? So the first thing, and I, I just want to show you this because this is a little overwhelming, but what it's going to eventually end up looking like is you're going to have different um, sections here. Your first section, obviously, is just this, oh, sorry, is just this one for Explore Brain. But as you can see on this particular person, they have different um, sections here and underneath each section there are different things that go along with picture books that go along with nonfiction. Um, so you're able to sort things and um, do it whatever you need to do there okay again this is a lot you're not going to like do all these things but it just shows you how you can organize your information and we really like it because they have the different pictures there that kind of help trigger information as well okay all right so that's what um, that's for okay um, now, to show you some other things that you're going to end up doing with this, because um, we're going to be kind of, we want you to do some research, and you will at some point get time to go out and research what you want. We're going to have some parameters on this first one. So we're really going to be focusing on the brain um, for this first point, first part for research topics for this first two-ish weeks, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some things that um, some two of my classes today that they brainstormed. Um, so we started with this growth mindset and grit. These are things that maybe you have heard from teachers, coaches, parents, or other things in the sense of how can you be successful? What are things that, that you should be doing in life to make you successful? And um, these are just some other things that the kids ended up saying. Try harder, wicker, um, integrity, start fresh, focus, being a leader, aiming high for things, um, being healthy, nutrition, sleep. There's another class. This is down here. Uh, relaxation, mindfulness, working hard, sleep again, spending time with family, acceptance, healthy habits, positivity, having hobbies, laughing, um, just learning in general. Um, so looking at those different things, what I want you to do is you're going to pick three that you seem like you're pretty interested in. And I'm going to have you add that to your Padlet here in a second. Okay. Um, so I just want you to like look at these different ones. And if you need to pause, you can. Um, or maybe you think of another one that you're like really interested in. But the three that I want you to choose, I want them to be completely different. I don't want them to be um, similar in the sense of like um, working hard and trying, trying to stay focused. I don't know. Those may end up looking the same like as you're trying to research them. So I would try to pick something completely different. Um, so they're all three that things that you're researching, you're getting inf different information. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you this one. If you need to pause here, you can. You can kind of see the different ones that are on this one. If you need to pause on this one, you can do that as well. But I want you to choose three, okay? Um, and with the three that you chose, you're going to go back to this right here. And I want you, and I'm kind of looking here for a second. Um, let's do three. Um, 
Good research. So you can title it that. And then down here, you can type those three topics. So three, three topics to research. So maybe you're going to do grit. Uh, maybe you're going to do um, nutrition. And maybe you're going to do um, one that's not even on there. Maybe you're going to give yourself grace. I don't know. Whatever your three are, that's what I want you to put in there. Um, and then I want you to hit publish. And that's going to show up right here. These are your three topics that you are researching. Um, that will just show me that you did that. Okay, so that's what I want you to do for your three topics to research. I'm going to have those um, down. Again, they should be um, different in the sense of as you start to research this for class two, you'll be able to find different information. Okay, all right, so that's all I need from you there. Uh, that's the main thing I need from you in a sense of what I need done for today. But I do want to kind of talk to you a little bit about um, some other things that you may want to look at in the sense of when you get back to school. These are the other two things that I talked about in class one today. All right, so there are two papers that you will eventually get when you get back to school. Um, this one right here is kind of like a, a checklist of things in the sense of, so if we're thinking about, let me give you this really quickly. If you're thinking about our um, expectations that we already went over for both reading and writing on the page one, um, it says accountable and it re record progress. That's what we're focusing on right now, okay? So in recording process, we have two different ways to do that, and we're going to use both ways. This right here basically covers everything that we have talked about this school year so far. So everything over here um, are the different standards that we've wanted you to learn um, and take notes on. All of these things are in your old notebook, okay? So if you were to kind of look down here, uh, brainstorm, we do brainstorm a lot. Um, then we have research. Research is conducting research. You're doing reliable sources. You're doing, you're organizing your research. You're having a bibliography of some, some sorts. This bibliography for this particular part could be your Padlet, because that's where you're keeping that information. Argument, we've done this. We've traced arguments. We've worked on claims. We've talked about evidence and reason. You've talked about ethos, pathos, and logos. Informational, we've talked about the different types of informational writing. That's also in your old notebook. Central idea, author's purpose, text features. Again, I'm reading all these because I want you to know that, yes, we actually have done all of these. Okay, so narrative, setting, characterization, emotion, plot, theme, paragraphing, dialogue. Um, so this piece of paper, this yellow paper, may look very overwhelming, but I want you to actually, like, when you read the words, it's not as overwhelming because you have all this information in your old notebook. Okay, um, so just know that. This is going to be a recording your progress, though, in the sense of, like, as we kind of get going with this research and, like, figuring out how these two weeks are really going to work, there's going to be times where you're working on informational writing, but you're really focusing on sequence. And so, for instance, like if today you were really focused on sequence, I would put the date 1-9. We're not doing this today, but I want you to kind of have an idea as to where we're going. Okay? So, yes, this is a lot of information, um, but we're going to keep coming back to it and we'll help you fill that out. Okay? The next piece of paper that you'll need to get from us when you get back is this green piece of paper. And this piece of paper matches what's on that yellow sheet. So we have brainstorm, research, argument, information, and narrative. So again, everything that was on here, brainstorm, research, argumentative, informational, and narrative, it's all the same. So what you'll end up doing, again, tracking your progress, is how many times did I brainstorm? How many times did I do research? How many times did I do whatever? Okay? All right. Then we get down to this next part. Um, this next part is basically trying to track what you're doing in class each time that you're in class. Okay, so this first chunk right here, this is um, for today and tomorrow in the sense of class one, class two, depending on what that looks like for you. Um, there's a to-do section. Well, teachers will add to that. Sometimes you will add to that. As we continue to kind of keep going through it, you yourself are going to start to be that person who takes notes for yourself or adds to your own to-do list so you know where you need to go for the next class. Okay. Then in each section, we have what you did or gains that you made in class one, and then also what you did in class two. Okay, this part right here, brain, it really just goes along with brainstorm, research, argument, informational, and narrative. So as you, like today, you guys brainstormed. So what you would do is you would circle the B because class one, you brainstormed your three topics on what you wanted to research. Okay, so you would circle B. So whichever one you're working on, you would circle that letter. Okay. All right, so that's kind of what these two papers are. So you'll need to make sure to get both of those papers from us when you get back. Um, but that will help kind of keep you organized and you'll be able to track your progress and to help you to complete things in a timely manner and just make sure you're doing what you need to get done. Okay? 
All right, so that's the last part there. Um, outside of that, if you want to go back to your Padlet because you don't like the fact, I, I don't know that I really like the fact that this is potato chips, um, but if you don't like that, I'm going to show you where you can access that to change it, and you can play along in there. Um, so if you go right over here, it says the settings buttons. If you click on that, it's going to open up that modify section again. And then if you go all the way down, it says wallpaper. You can go in here and you can mess with all sorts of things. You can get that. You can do solid colors. You can do textures and patterns. You could do pictures. So if you want something different, you can click on it and it will change it for you. Okay. Um, you can also go back in and you can change like the color scheme. If you like this dark over here. Or if you like it white, that's up to you. Um, you can also change the font. So I'll let you kind of play around with what you want to do with yours. Um, but that's just something that you can do at a later time. Um, but that's what you have going on there. Okay? That's kind of all we have. There's, there's going to be a lot of questions. But really and truthfully, if you just get onto Padlet and you create your Padlet looking um, like this, and you make it look very similar to this right here in the sense that you have Explorer Brain and you have your three topics chosen to research, count your your good for today okay so i know there's lots of questions we'll answer those and we'll keep going as we go through um, but this was class one and then you need to make sure that you complete this class one information before you move on to class two all right awesome